Mr. Whitman, we are beginning our descent into Phoenix. We might experience a little turbulence, so please fasten your safety belt. Our arrival time is in approximately 20 minutes. Thank you. My suitcase packed? Yes, and I had an iron. Good, since my flight leaves in an hour, I don't want to be traffic. Okay. Well, could you do something other than just sit there? Are you ever going to be home? Oh my god, can we not do this right now? First, you said we could have our annual family vacation, and that was canceled. I'm sorry that I had a conference in New York. You missed our anniversary dinner for a meeting. It was that very meeting that helped pay for this house. And now you're leaving when you promised we could spend time as a family. I dinner. am sorry if this is not enough for you. Are we even a priority to you? How can you even say that? Everything that I do, everything in this house, is for you. I don't care about what you get me. I care about you acting like we're worth anything to you. Yep because I spend too much time at work and not enough at home, because you're right and I'm wrong, because my priorities are way out of line. Now, did I miss anything, or does that pretty much cover it? Not even gonna say goodbye to your daughter? You're pathetic. I'm already late. I will call her when I land. Marshal Whitman. Hello, Mr. Whitman. Got a minute for your old man? Actually, Dad, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, well, I was just calling to check in on you. Yeah, I'm fine, Dad. I gotta fly out to Phoenix tonight. That's right. I forgot you were going on another trip. How's Ann and Sophie? She's getting so big. You know, I remember yeah, when... Yeah, they're good. Hey, listen, Dad, I gotta go. Okay? I'll just talk to you later, all right? Okay. Well, I love you. Be safe. Yeah, you too, Dad. Your mother would be very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs>